Hi, my name is Michael Wallen. I'm going to give you an overview of the new continuity product that we've released from Strata as part of the Mavericks platform. So a continuity strategy allows you to define a strategy in the event that one of your IDPs goes down so that you can provide continuous access and uptime for your applications. So in a failback strategy, we define our primary identity provider as Entra. The next thing that we've added to the platform is the ability to monitor different IDPs and trigger different events based on uh, their health. So in the event that Entra is down, say for five seconds, it will automatically trigger a failover. So now when I go back to my strategy, let's add some backup IDPs. So in a cloud to cloud scenario, we could support a failover from Entra to Okta or any other cloud-based IDP. And in the event that the cloud-based IDPs are down, you can even fail over to an on-prem LDAP system. The next problem we need to solve is how do, I define, how do I provide the attributes that could be slightly different coming from each IDP? And here we've delivered the schema abstraction layer. It simply allows you to define a map. So in, in the event, I always need the email claim. I'm going to get the preferred username from Entra. And from Okta, I'm going to get the email claim. And from LDAP, I'm going to get the mail claim. OK, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to integrate this strategy into your user flows. So I have two user flows de uh, deployed here. One is a proxy app or legacy on-prem application. In this case, it's a banking app. And the other is a SaaS app. Let's focus on the SaaS app. So for an authentication policy, I simply need to switch from just using Entra to using the strategy. And I'm going to swap my claims mapping from using Entra, again, to using the strategy. Great. So now I've integrated that into my applications. Now I'm going to show you what the user sees. So I'm simply going to commit this. Uh, to a GitHub uh, repo where my orchestrators are waiting to pick up um, the configuration from there. We've even had the ability to make it easy for people to evaluate this by enabling them to simulate a continuity strategy. So I'm going to commit my new revision and I'm going to deploy that. I've got my continuity strategy simulator up. And so now let's see what the user sees. So first, let's test the happy path. So I'm going to go and hit my SaaS application. It's going to ask me to sign in with Entra. Looks great. So I'm into Entra. And since I already have a session with uh, Entra, I'm just going to go and go to my on-prem application. And I'm automatically signed right in. This is all good stuff. Now, let's simulate what happens if Entra goes down. So I'm going to open up my continuity sim simulator, and I'm going to block all traffic to Entra. And now I'm going to go hit my SaaS application. In this case, it's hitting my backup identity provider. Great. And I'm right in. And of course, if I go hit my on-prem app, I'm automatically in. And now, let's simulate if both Entra and Okta are down. So it's unlikely that you'd still be able to use your SaaS applications if both Entra, in the event that both, both those applications are down. There's probably something really going on with the internet that day. But if I did, if both those IDPs are down and I wanted to rely on, on an on-prem IDP, I hit it and it simply is asking me for my LDAP credentials and I can log right in and of course, if I want to hit that on-prem app, I'm logged in as well. All right, thank you for listening.